ever found yourself on a struggle bus? On a struggle bus, you know, struggling along on that bus. <laughs> My daughter used to always talk about the struggle bus. And I always thought that was the cutest image of, <clears throat> you know, somebody who is struggling and you're riding along on this bus and it's all about struggle. Everybody's going to the same place, which is struggle. And on the way there, you're experiencing struggle. And what you want is to get off the friggin' struggle bus. <laughs> so how do you do that? And what gets you on there in the first place? Let's start there. What gets you that ticket on the struggle bus? Well, I'll tell you. What gets you a ticket on the struggle bus is you. Actually, it's what's going on here. So one thing that gets you on the struggle bus, bus is expectations. But I often talk about having expectations, having high expectations for yourself. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go there with this. The idea is that when you begin to expect something that you know won't happen, you're setting yourself up for struggle. Because if you begin to hope that something's going to be different than you really know it is, like really, you know that there is no way it's going to happen any differently, which doesn't mean, you know, we can't create it. I'm all about creation and creating what you want in your life. But sometimes we really know that something is a certain way, that a situation is a certain way. And when we begin to expect that it's going to be different, then we set ourselves up for disappointment and for struggle. So for instance, if you were going off to a week long or a month long retreat and you were told that you'd have a roommate and then you know you get there and your roommate's not there yet they're late for some reason and you begin to build up this expectation that you're going to have the room all to yourself because you really hate to share a room with someone right you don't think you deserve to share a room with someone you should, don't think you should have to do that and yet they told you you would have to share a room and you agreed to it when you begin when you said you'd attend the the retreat so you know 24 hours goes by and no roommate so you're like wow no roommate I got it made I created myself having no roommate that's gonna be my experience and your hopes rise and rise and rise to go with that expectation when you were told that wouldn't be the case now could that person have canceled out and you ended up with a room by yourself you might have so there's nothing wrong with visualizing that and uh, trying to create that in your life, trying to manifest a room to yourself during the retreat. But then when the roommate actually shows up 24 hours late and says, hey, I'm your roommate, I'll be with you for the next week or month or whatever it is, if you begin to then you know, get not only disappointed but angry and upset and focus on you know how horrible it is that you have a roommate well there's your ticket to the struggle bus right that puts you right up those steps and into a seat on the struggle bus and you're gonna be stuck there for a month if all you do is think about how you have to share a room at this retreat with this person that you don't know for the next month total struggle bus you'll be riding it till you go on home after the retreat but that won't be a great retreat right so that is one thing that sets you up to get a ticket onto the struggle bus. The other thing that puts you on the struggle bus is this last part of what I was talking about, and that's what's going on up here. If you are in a situation that you don't like, and all you do is focus on how you don't like it, so if we go back to this retreat, the roommate is you know, gonna be horrible, and I'll never be able to go to sleep when I wanna go to sleep because, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> if she wants to go to sleep early and I want to read or journal or meditate or whatever it is, I won't be able to do that. I won't be able to get up early and do my morning routine and, and you know, she's going to make noise and we're going to have to share the shower and, you know, what if she snores and, oh, she does snore and it's horrible and I don't get to get up early and do my morning routine and I don't get to read late and, you know, I, and I, I, I can't uh, get on the phone and have a conversation with my boyfriend. And what if I'm upset or angry and I want to voice that to somebody on the phone? I can't do that either. I have no privacy. Okay, that is a huge struggle bus ride. And you bought that ticket. <laughs> you bought that ticket onto that bus. You did. You did it here. So how do you get yourself off the struggle bus? How do you stop yourself from feeling struggle and being wrapped up in struggle? simple the way off the struggle bus to get that door to open so you can fly on down those steps is to stop focusing on what you dislike 
to stop focusing on the situation you don't like, that roommate in this case, right? Focus on something else. Focus on the fact that this roommate <clears throat> might actually be a phenomenal person and you can make a new friendship. And maybe when you're upset and you need to cry or vent, that person will be there for you. Maybe that person has the same kind of hours as you do. Maybe they like to get up early and do their morning routine and stay up late doing their journaling or reading a book. <clears throat> Focus on that and you might create it. Right? So get away from the false expectations, the hope that you won't have a roommate when you know you're going to have a roommate. Get away from that and instead begin to expect something good out of the situation of having a roommate. That is a ticket to get off at the no struggle stop, right? And go down those steps and enjoy a struggle-free existence. So we have to stop expecting situations to turn out differently when we know they won't, but instead reimagine them, expect them to be better than we think, right? Don't expect not to have the roommate. Don't expect your boss to suddenly disappear. Just expect things to be better. Expect to get along with your boss. Expect to get along with the roommate, right? And don't keep thinking about it. Don't keep thinking about how horrible it's gonna, horrible it's gonna be to have this roommate or how horrible your boss is and how he's gonna ream you out again and be a jerk. Right? No, think about how that boss might actually come in and be pleasant today. Or maybe you can say something to your boss that will make him or her respond differently. And that this roommate, that you can actually maybe go out for a drink with your roommate and begin to develop a friendship. This is how we get off the struggle bus. Manage your mind. It's all about your mind, whether it's the expectations, right? False expectations or circular thinking about something you don't like, it's all going on here. And you just got to change your mind. Decide to focus on what you want and on what you can create and focus on the positive so that you stop struggling. And that is when the doors to the struggle bus open wide and you go on down the bus and you, as I said, live without struggle. And when struggle comes up again, you're going to know how to get off the bus, right? Yeah, get off that bus. When it pulls up, that door's open, you're out of there because you've managed to control your mind. So that's it for today. That's my challenge to you is stop riding the struggle bus, okay? Get off that struggle bus. I am Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach and I am a certified high performance coach as well as an author and a blog coach. And it is my passion and my purpose to help people combine their, their passion and their purpose so they get inspired to create something that they want, to create a fully lived life, to, to create ways to fulfill their potential, to create ways to live fully, and to create ways to get from where they are now to where they want to go. And that's pretty much what high performance is about, getting you to level up so that you can live fully, so you can live in, in enthusiastically, boldly, and joyously doing all the things you love and stepping into your best self. So if I can help you with that, if you feel like you're on that struggle bus and you want to get off, go on over to ninaamir.com forward slash free session and fill out the application there for a free one hour certified high performance coaching strategy session. I promise you, in that hour, you are going to have a much clearer view of <clears throat> where you're stuck in your life and how to get unstuck, where you're struggling and how to stop struggling. And you'll go away with a bunch of tips and strategies and tools that you can put to use right away in order to begin to level up, level up and step into your, your best self and to live more fully. So go on over there, ninamir.com forward slash free session and fill out the application and I'll get in touch with you and we'll schedule that session. And in the meantime, leave me a comment down below about how you've gotten off the struggle bus or what you're struggling with and what you could use help with. I'll respond. You can leave it here on YouTube or you can leave it here on my blog, videos in both places. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube station. Click on the, the link below if you're in the blog, if you're in my, uh, on my website and subscribe to my blog. And that way you won't ever miss one of these motivational moments and inspirational moments from me, Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. And until next time, you go out there and achieve more inspired results.